All right, guys, welcome to J House Radio episode 74. Today, we're going to be talking about the J House Radio Game Awards, our version of, of the Game Awards, basically. At the time of this recording, uh, the regular Game Awards has passed already. We already know that Elden Ring, unfortunately, is the game of the year in terms of Game Awards. Unfortunately? <laughs> It earned it. I guess, I guess, I guess KJ's Game of the Year is not held in me. I, I guess the other eight awards that got a war one were nothing. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I want to got a war to, to get Game of the Year, man. I was kind of hoping for it. I mean, it swept everything else in the Game Awards, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah but okay. Elden, Game Awards. Elden Ring swept gaming for the first eight months it was out. Yeah. <laughs> true yeah, indeed, true indeed. <laughs> you can be on sure the internet sure. without Before seeing something. Elden Ring. Before Elden Ring was awarded, we thought that the fact that it came out earlier in the year would have given it, would have given God of War the advantage. But now I'm thinking it might be the other way around. Not enough people, not enough time has really been. It was, it's also only on PlayStation, so like yeah, not a lot of people have PS5s yet. Yeah. That is true. Yeah, the exclusive part of it also, yeah, killed it. Yeah. So yeah. anybody voting that doesn't have a PS5 is going to be like, well, it can't be that. Uh, screw that game. I don't have that console. I can't buy it yet, you know. Um, so today we're going to uh, pretty much go through our own particular categories for some of our favorite games of the year. Uh, some of our categories are going to be runner-ups. We're going to pick two runner-ups that don't make into any of the other awards. Best performance, sleeper, best horror game, best multiplayer slash co-op, and game of the year. So, um, we're going to start off with best performance in a game. Uh, Bojo, I'll let you go first. Um, I think that, uh, Christopher Judge, uh, in God of War, all of the, um, and the woman who played Freya and Sunny, I, that could have been a movie. They should have (laughs) won Emmy. Like the the acting was insane. The dialogue, the script was incredible. It made you feel shit for sure because yeah. of how the actors played the characters, and it couldn't have been done better. I agree. I agree with you. It, it it could have felt like a a movie instead of a game. Like if they just sat me down, I would watch it for forty hours all the way through and watch everything. <laughs> and what sucks about that is you know because it is great. They're gonna make an adaptation, an adaptation of it, you know. And I yeah. feel like they're gonna be shitty <laughs> than the game. Well, I, it, it's gonna be hard to. Records. It'll be hard to live up to Kratos anyway, because he is an iconic character in gaming. Can I share a controversial opinion about um, adaptations? Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> um. Whoever makes the fucking cinematics should make the movie. I don't think that everything needs to be live action. Um, Blizzard, Riot, all of these studios make incredible, incredible cinematics. I agree. Why aren't they making movies? Would, it doesn't I... make any sense. So we're going to go to Adams. What was your performance of this year? Well, I agree with Bojo. I don't think it's close with God of War in any other game. I... Maybe maybe the next game would be uh, the, the the Plague Tale. I still haven't played that yet. I, I still, I still think uh, the Requiem. Yeah, Plague yeah. Twelve yeah. Requiem. Re- Requiem. Yeah, I, I know that those games are like big time sleepers, and I, I've wanted to play them again. But I've heard really good things. About them. Well, even even uh, Atreus in God of War was damn near perfect. Yeah, I, I would honestly. Yeah, I, I think for me, Atreus is definitely going to be my performance of the year. Like that kid coming from God of War 1 into God of War 2, like his performance was just immaculate. It's like It's almost like you get to see him grow up, basically. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So and, I, I thought that was of, awesome. I also think this version of Kratos is the best Kratos has ever been. Uh, where uh, yeah. like, out of I the PS3 games, me either, but the PS3 version of Kratos, I, oh, I, prefer, okay, yeah. I prefer this new one. Much more seasoned. It's, I mean, it's, it's like he matured. Yeah, he grew up. He had his rebellious years. Uh, he can he can still slaughter if he needs to, but he'd prefer not. To. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. Jeff and I had this conversation the other day. 
about how like we literally saw this whole franchise mature with the, and the characters mature and like it we all matured we grew up with the series yeah the characters become older and wiser and the whole franchise just we watched we watched it from birth to yeah awkward through its awkward teenage years and now it's a mature <laughs> on the little <laughs> like, uh, coitus the coitus uh, mini games yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want. A, a way to disappoint women sexually in a video game too. <laughs> I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't bring that back, actually. I thought they were gonna bring it back as like a little I'm, Easter egg. I'm glad they didn't. I think it would have changed. Would've yeah, I it think it would have changed the game. Yeah. yeah. Probably. I mean he's he's grieving I mean, he's grieving the wife that he's now lost, so. I'd still play it. <laughs> but I think it would I think it would have to. Like said. You have to get the achievement. Yeah. Yeah, um, true. <laughs> All right, so we're going to move on to our next category. Um, sleeper of the year. Which which game from this year is your sleeper? Um, we're going to go with you, um, Juan. Okay, my sleeper um, is actually uh, Marauders. Tarkov-esque uh, space uh, game. Okay. Like okay. It's an, indie, it's, a, it's an indie game. It's a, it's uh, it it did make a bit a bit of a splash. Mm -hmm. Um, but it was I it was hot tell, for a minute. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, I think they're gonna end up uh, building on it a lot more and get it cool stuff. But the premise of it, you know, uh, space pirating and raiding and the ex, you know the whole like extraction feel. Okay. Uh, I liked it. It, it, it's even though it's punishing, it's not like Tarkov where I get dumped. Right I, I feel like a lot of games are trying to dive into like that Tarkov esque style now. Honestly, they are. extraction are. shooters are, are huge. Yeah. yeah, I think we're seeing a shift from BR. it's going to be slow from from BRs to extraction, which I'm, I'm kind of fine with. Yeah, true, true. Uh, what about you, Adams? What's your what's your sleeper for this year? Oh, uh, I think I'd give it to Stifu. Wow, I forgot about that game. Yeah, yeah, forgot that about came that. out too this year. <laughs> I like the combat in it. Um, it was a challenging game too, especially with the aging process. <clears throat> yeah, I I still like that's what it was. Yeah, kind of like a roguelike kind of game. Yeah, I, I still haven't beaten that game. Like that game is just too damn hard yeah. for me. Too damn yes, hard. It was. It was very <laughs> difficult. Um, the aging and, process is what makes it hard. Just, yeah, because it's like, like as you get older, you move slower. His skill kit. Yeah, you get debuffs. Uh, but somehow yeah, you I get, get like stronger. Second stage, and I'm already eighty years old. <laughs> yeah. Right, what about you, Bojo? What's your sleeper for this year? Um, I'm gonna say something a little. Off the wall. Um, it's the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Okay. Um, it, that game it has such a good sense of humor. It's a nice little. It, it's basically a walking sim. It's funny. It's it's a, a good looking game. Um, I just love the sense of humor in the Stanley Parable games. What that was a good follow up to the first one. Um, the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. I have to look that up. I don't even know if I. It was a, a very up my alley walking sim puzzle game. Um, it's a very deep cut kind of niche. Uh, That's a I, super I loved deep it. cut. I had a blast playing it. That is a super deep cut. Yeah. I don't even. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think I played that one. I think I've seen it. I just I've never actually jumped into it though. It's interesting. Yeah, okay. it's super interesting. Um, I I like I said, loved it. Okay. Love okay. the sense of humor that that game has. All right. Well, my sleeper kind of comes a little left field to uh, mine is Vampire Survivors. I don't know if you guys played that yet. Oh, that's I know. I know. Oh, Jeff is. has been playing. Oh my god, he's obsessed with it. My I can. I cannot put yeah. that game down, man. I freaking love that game. I'm surprised that wasn't up there for game of the year. Honestly, that that's how good it was for me. All right, so next one we're going to jump into is best multiplayer of the year slash co-op game. Adams, I'll let you go first on that one. 
I don't I don't know. Um <laughs> Overwatch I really 2. Too much. I played the, the Dark... Yeah, that's that's what I'm going to say. <laughs> uh, the Dark Pictures Anthology was fun with Bojo, but Overwatch 2, I think, so far, is is probably the best time I've had. Really? I didn't even think you were going to even say that. I was actually just joking. <laughs> multiplayer. Um, no. It allows you to play with five people, which is, you know, the more friends you can play with, the better. I like running five stacks, rolling through people. Okay, okay. Um, DMZ's fun, but I still play Overwatch instead, so it'd be kind of hard to give it to, to Call of Duty. It's 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 kind of crazy hearing you go from Overwatch 1 hating the game, and now you're loving Overwatch 2. It's just because I didn't know I anything about it. And I, and I told Bojo I'm not going to get too hard in Overwatch 1 because 2's coming out. Yeah. And now I don't want to play it. <laughs> Um, it's fun though. Oh yeah, I I I'm, I'm with Adam. I never hated it like he did, but I definitely liked Look, it. Look, a lot of the hate was because I didn't know what to fucking do. Okay, <laughs> hated it because you didn't understand it. Yeah, <laughs> it confuses me. I hated it. Yeah, caveman, caveman mentality. No, Bruce is a caveman. I I am not. <laughs> There is a lot going on in the game, especially if if you're new to it. It's it can seem a little complicated, so I totally get it. I totally get it. Knowing your role and yeah. knowing counters, knowing the switch, having you have to have so much game sense for that game because you have to know, oh, this person should have their alt by now, or like just be ready. And uh, it's I it's think a lot for new that's people. another reason why it would be multiplayer game of the year because it's not just dropping into to Warzone looting and killing there takes more to it to actually win and be decent yeah. you it's objective based so you got to work together figure out what works best mm-hmm. you know there, there's a lot more that goes into it it's not just a pew pew yeah right um i'm gonna pick the same thing as uh adams i'm gonna pick overwatch 2 i've been playing overwatch 1 since the beta of overwatch 1 i mean overwatch since the beta of overwatch 1 so it's to this day, it's probably my favorite multiplayer game out of anything that's out. I tried everything else. I tried COD. I tried, which I get into sometimes. I tried Apex, but Overwatch is the only one that I'm consistently in. So the Overwatch 2 is definitely my multiplayer of the year for sure. Um, All right. So before we get into the game of the year, um, what are your what are your runner ups for this year? We're going to start with Bojo. Actually, Bojo, did I add you ask you your multiplayer game or did I skip you? I don't it's think so, Overwatch. but it's it's definitely Overwatch. Okay. Like Overwatch is my favorite game. It has been since Overwatch One. I've been playing for as long as you have since mm-hmm. the beta of Overwatch One, and I just love that game so much. So okay. Overwatch Two, my board. favorite. Awesome, awesome. How do you guys like the new character that they added? The uh, new tank. Black not... Luster. Yeah, he's. I thought he was going to be worse. He's not awful. Really, I I still haven't played him yet. Honestly, for for a tank, he's super squishy. Honestly, he could use a buff already. Yeah, I actually agree. He he needs more health or more defense. I think his ult should last more than three seconds. Yeah. Or his nemesis mode should so take more damage. So so what are his moves like? What like what do they do? I don't I don't even know what his moves does. I haven't even checked and into it. Damage yet. vortex, a shield, two. And, bo- two... Go ahead. In his in his regular form, he's got like a laser beam coming out of a staff, kind of like Symmetra's laser. Uh, he's got a shield and a little grenade he throws out that goes up in the sky and it'll suck enemies down. I think it might slow him, but I'm not 100 percent sure. Yeah, it slows too. Uh, and then his shift, he turns into a nemesis form, and he's got new abilities. Uh, one of them is a block, kind of like Doom Fists, and his other one is like he punches in front of him, and it it hits more than one person, and it has a decent range. It also goes through shields. Yeah. What? You would wow. think that it's yeah. broken. But... It doesn't. It's not as broken as it sounds. I swear. Wow. He's 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 not hard to kill. Um, Diva okay. is still harder to kill. Yeah, Diva is yeah, su- really such an annoying good. tank. Such an annoying tank. But that's I love my, playing her. That's my girl. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Um. Yeah, I had to get the battle pass ASAP. Um, all right, so runner-ups. Um, Bojo, we'll start with you. 
What are your um, runner-ups? Um, I have to say Stray. I have to mention Stray. Um, I don't think I genuinely don't think that it deserved Game of the Year by any means. But for a new studio to release a complete game with no bugs is insane, and, and it looked what, good. Yeah, and it was. It and was for what the game was. Yeah, and it was relatively short, but there was still so you could have you could have spent forever in that game. It it made me so happy for fifteen <laughs> hours. Like I just absolutely love that game so much. Honestly, dog yeah. Version. Same a dog yeah. version. Mm -hmm. What would we call that? What would they call that? Well, if a cat is stray, a stray two. A dog would <laughs> stray be stray uh, two. Beloved <laughs> pet. <laughs> there was a PlayStation Two game called A Dog's Life about a stray dog who has to thwart a uh, a a cat food making company who has been using stray dogs to make their food. Oh shit. Interesting. I played the shit out of that game whenever I was a kid, and I loved it. <laughs> Interesting. My taste I, in games has not changed. I, I honestly played Stray as well. Um, <clears throat> I, I freaking love that game. I took my time in it, uh, probably a little longer than I should have. But yeah, yeah just it's, it was just such a good game, especially, like you said, uh, a, a game that was by a new developer with no glitches. It's crazy to say that, but yeah. to, to have a game that's just like nice and just polished it just feels so weird nowadays it feels weird and it didn't feel like it, it's out of it, place it was missing anything like yeah. it felt like a whole game which we don't sadly don't get a lot of anymore we exactly whole games you get we're starting to get it. it we're starting to get more of it now yeah it, it's kind of coming back to take an effect. yeah um i know uh, a lot of the think... games that came out this year were fucking solid releases elder yeah. Earth, horizon god of war even tiny, tiny Tina's. tina was solid uh, yeah. Gotham Knights, they were all real games with, with content. I forgot about Gotham Knights. I mean, oh my god. I forgot about that. Jeez. You're the Batman. Oh game. Yeah, but it's not even really technically a Batman game. <laughs> it's, it's Robin. Yeah. yeah. Robin's. Robin's. Yeah. <laughs> Just a different name. Um, I want to honorable mention a game also is the Skywalker Saga. The the Lego games, because I feel like uh, uh, the Lego uh, Star Wars games are the best Lego games ever made, and they're so fun. And they're they I've, they've been fun since I was a kid. So I just wanted to mention those because they might get snubbed today. <laughs> good mention, good honorable mention, awesome. Yeah, that's solid. Yeah, those Lego games. Uh, I had the uh, on my what is it? Game Boy DS three or whatever. Mm-hmm. Had the Lego version of like Grand Theft Auto. You ever saw that one? You know, oh, the wow. Lego I version of Grand Theft Auto? That's yeah, a real thing. That's a so, thing. I didn't know yeah, that existed. It's, it's <laughs> obviously it's not a, you're a cop and you're trying to bust bad guys. And but yeah, you can like steal vehicles like you do in Grand Theft Auto. Oh my Did... god, it's Lego City Undercover. What the Bang. fuck? Bang hookers and then oh, and I thought you bang. meant like an actual <laughs> Lego version of Grand Theft Auto. I was going to say no, they... it's basically no. the same, but no yeah. hookers. It's no hookers. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say kid friendly did, version. Did Lego approve of that? Um, <laughs> wow, that's cool. Yeah, that's uh, game. That's a fun game. Next year is probably going to be some of the, the the best years that we had in gaming in, in a while. For sure. I still crazy. never played the Legend of Zelda game. Because I said the same thing this year. This this year, this year was, was a little weird. Of, this year was kind of weird. There was a big lag in the middle of the year, but the beginning and the end. Oh, yeah. I agree. I agree. I think yeah. March of next year is going to be pretty big. I think March is when uh, Hogwarts coming out. Um, here's here's what's tentative for March next year. The day before, uh, and Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Yes. And oh, the Resident, man. the Resident Evil Four remake. Hogwarts is February. Oh, February. Wow. Uh. And then Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League, Street yes. Fighter Six, Diablo Four. Oh man, wait, that's this is all March. No, this is just next year. Oh, I was curious to say, what in the world? That trailer was insane. That trailer was so good and so oh, nice, and such a good dedication to uh. 
Uh, the voice of Batman. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, that was yeah, that was a good one. I did like that. I did like that. Yeah. Yeah, next year is gonna be big, man. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, and and don't forget Spider Man. Oh that, yeah. That's next year too. Really? Yeah. yeah Spider Spider Man Two is next year. That that's that's insane. I, I forgot about that. I want it's not that as big, space but, um... to go back to what it was. Why did they change that? I don't even Tom know what Holland, that was. Even because he looks like Tom Holland now. Ah, whatever. It just it looks weird, bro. <laughs> Why would you completely revoice a game that has already been out for that long? Yeah, I, I don't know. That that was that was weird. They gave him, they gave him the Peter Dinklage. I like his voice as ghost. Yeah, voice is one thing. An entire new face is. Yeah, that that sounds completely different. Completely different. Um, yeah, next year is gonna be big, man. It's it's, it's definitely gonna be a big one. Uh, but yeah, my my runner ups, like I said, Snap. I'll even add Horizon in there. Horizon was a pretty good game. Never finished it, but um, definitely pretty good game from this year. So. It. My runner up was uh, I platinumed it. Gotham Knights. Gotham Knights, okay. Good runner up. Good runner up. So uh, that game is also, I think, just the victim of when it got released. I think that game had a lot of bugs when it first came out too. That that was another big issue with that game. Um, there was a few bugs. To fr- it only capped out at like thirty FPS, even on some some PC hardware. It was just like it the frame rate was kind of. It wasn't as good as I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Um, let me see. All right, Boja, we got your runner-ups, right? I believe so. Yes. All right. Yeah, cool. Cool. Mixed. All right. So, give me your time. Um, Bojo, we'll start with you. I know Elden straight. Elden Ring. Elden okay. Figure that. Um, you can't be anything that was. Uh, the world building was done by George R. R. Martin. Um, it it was a beautiful game to look at. The story was incredible. The bosses were tough as hell. Yeah, they um, were. I will say Maybe that I Melania didn't play much. Is one of the hardest bosses I've ever fought. Which she, boss was that? She's the secret boss. Oh, okay. Uh, I okay. Where she is. Okay. Yeah, Melania, mean, Melania was like the one that everybody fanboyed. Yeah, uh, an animal last night at the uh, oh, yeah. Game Awards. <laughs> Not a big thing for her. Uh, <laughs> Elden Ring like took like everything by storm. Like you had a, um, I remember you had like that one guy that got like people were getting famous off the game. Like speaking of Melania, like there was a guy like let me, what's his name? Let, let me solo her. Oh, let me solo her. Yeah, he literally became famous uh, for that. Yeah. <laughs> Just for helping people with the game, he became famous. Mm-hmm. That's that's crazy. You ring him in and he just kills it for you. Yeah, I I'm not usually a oh. Soulsborne guy, but uh, I mean, I played a little bit Elder Ring. It was okay. I mean, I, I never I didn't get that far in it. That game was just too damn difficult for me. So I was just like, yeah, this this is just oh, not my I cup of tea. I didn't play it. I, oh, you didn't play I, it really? <laughs> I, I you played, played it for about five minutes, fell off the same cliff about fourteen times, and then I rage quit. But I I watched the fuck out of people playing it. You couldn't go on the internet anywhere without seeing clips. Yeah. Someone playing it or something. The memes that came out of that, that game took over the world for the first half of the year. It it deserved every bit of recognition that it got and definitely game of the year in my eyes. Yeah, I, I feel like this game made as much noise as Pokemon Go when it first came out honestly oh, it, it yeah. was it was like that type of game honestly um people who yeah. weren't even into those games were talking about those games was talking about that game what you know what's so cool about watching the streams of that game is that everybody had a different approach different yeah. classes different weapons different strats different um it wasn't like everybody was running the same kit and stuff. yeah so that's, that's one of the reasons this game is game of the year for me um there were so many different abilities, uh, weapon abilities, all this other stuff that you could use or summon to fight these guys. Um, it was damn near never ending. There's Melania right there stabbing people through the fucking heart. <laughs> um, they, des- they deserved it. And this world is massive. 
Yeah, it's huge. Um, it's it, it is game. probably the biggest world I've ever explored fully. The first time I saw the boss that looks like a galaxy, uh, I was awestruck. And the music for Elden Ring, my God. Yes. Like that oh, the music is great. Composer, um, everything felt so epic. I've yeah. I've told Juan and Bojo this before. God of War wins in acting and story. The story is not even close. I think it's way better than Elden Ring story. Mm hmm but everything else I have leaning towards Elden Ring. Um, the controls, the play, how it feels, the look, everything else is Elden Ring. 100%. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm guessing you're all picking Elden Ring for your game of the year? No. I, I, <laughs> as, much as, as much as I just was on Elden Ring, uh, too much of a fanboy, uh, I went God of War. Like I said. Same. It it's, it's scratches off a lot of the big marks. At Elden Ring, in terms of like performance, well, performance is better, but like the visuals are amazing, the story is amazing, the uh, bosses are well designed. Uh, it's just a fun game. Um, and honestly, this is just my bias showing. I I'm going with my boy Kratos. It's gonna be the the uh, 2000 was it 18 PS4 God of War was my favorite number one game. I think so. Yeah. So this one is just a element. I will say this. As much a hype as both of those games got, I still think they exceeded expectations. When I started playing Elden Ring, I had no idea what was coming. But yeah. I fucking I beat it three times and I never do that. Three times? We wow. Hundred percent of the game completely. Wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's when impressive. It out, it's all I wanted to play. Um and that's all I played. God of War didn't do that. That's impressive. That's impressive. And yeah, and that's the thing is like God of War. I mean, you can only play it. It's very, very narrow in, in terms of how you can play it because like, it's gonna it's linear, right? Yeah. Yeah, you might want to like try different abilities or maybe put more skill points in certain other abilities, but for the most part, it's linear. Whereas Elden Elden Ring, the replayability vastly. True, uh, true well, you you can also speed run Elden Ring. I think the fastest I beat it was an hour. Yeah, I didn't remember hearing that once you beat it the first time. And that's without glitching. That's that's beating it properly. <laughs> beating it properly. Yeah, I, I I had to say for me, I, I gotta agree with Juan on this one. Uh, God of War is definitely my game of the year, hands down. Um, I I, I just like those type of story, you know, telling type of games, even if it's a little linear. Uh, I love the RPG element of God of War, which is a little different for that kind of game. Uh, and like you said, this the acting was just immaculate. There were moments where I just put down a controller and I felt like I was watching a movie. You know, it's, yeah, it was like, just, just was, great. Uh, I'm really glad they kept the single camera view too. Yes, 100%. Yeah. Uh, 100%. Uh, and this is relatively at the very beginning of the game. So, I mean, at this point, it's one moment that gave me chills is one of the first boss fights, right? And you're doing a mini game and you fail and you think you died. And mm -hmm. It shows a you know loading screen, and then you just hear the bad guy like, "I'm not done with you," and he shocks you back to your. Oh head. yeah. Man, I love it when they play those head games with you and the developers play those head games. Slight spoiler uh, alert! Slight spoiler alert! <laughs> Like, I, didn't, I didn't say who the boss was. It's ten minutes into the game. If you <laughs> haven't played it yet, the then the very beginning, yeah. <laughs> true indeed, true when, indeed. It, when I saw that, I, I, I thought, I was like, oh damn, I must not have tapped X fast enough. Yeah. Uh, no, it you was him fucking with you. <laughs> well, no, it, it never. Yeah, I thought the same I thing. I got chills. And it was awesome. Yeah, it's a good game. Good game for sure. Um, and also, that person you're talking about is about nine feet fucking tall. He's yes. massive. Oh, yeah. Like, like, when they first showed him and Kratos side by side, I was like, holy shit. Yeah, I was Kratos just like... not a small man. Well, no, thing, he's like, not. <laughs> what, what's, what, so, like, Greek mythology is all about uh, the gods being... I mean, they're godly, but they're not giants. So they're not, like... Nor, uh, Norse mythology, like they, yeah, they're all about being in the tons. Yeah, yeah. It's still shocking to see. <laughs> or was. 
Yeah, it was uh, weird to see someone dwarf the, uh, Kratos because Kratos has always been the biggest person in the room for all of these games, and yeah, I f- him look small. <laughs> like, I feel like we get a lot of bit of that. He's in danger. Yeah, I, I feel like we yeah. we see a more like I feel like Kratos gets humbled in this game a few times. Honestly, absolutely. You know, so it's yeah, just definitely in, different. Uh, yeah, in his in his younger years. Uh, <laughs> Humbly. <laughs> he gets smacked and he just come back stronger. Exactly. Or just, you know, slay some of the ladies and come back stronger, you know. Well, that's the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> it kills his health and his energy. Uh, <laughs> that's his thing. Like, I mean, it's, 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 he's fighting against his nature, right? His, his, or he's changing his nature, which is probably affecting his powers. Plus, he's not in his own realm anymore. Plus, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's still strong as hell. Still, yeah, yeah, obviously. True indeed, true indeed. Well, the the Leviathan enough. axe is pretty awesome too. I love the axe. Like it, I take the axe over the, the chain blade. I, I was actually yeah, kind of surprised at that. Yeah, I, I'd use the axe more than anything else, honestly. I yeah. love that in the game. Like his wax with the when he hits something with that axe, feel it. Oh yeah. Get that same thunk feel with uh, chain blades. And I don't think you're supposed to, right? Like one's supposed to be more quick, swift range, and then the axe is just brute force. Yeah. Um, and I, so, I, mean, I really like it. So before we get out of here, what what do you guys think out of all the games that's coming up next year? What do you think is going to be top contender for game of the year conversation for next year? Um, Hogwarts Legacy, hundred <laughs> percent. I forgot it, that it was coming out next year. It depends on what they look for. Uh, or Diablo 4. Because if the Resident Diablo. Evil 4 remake counts, that could win. True, um, true. Final Fantasy 16 could win. It would um, be a big deal for a horror game to win. That's yeah, but... Kind of a niche genre. Resident, Resident Evil, Evil 4 is different, though. Resident Evil 4 specifically is different. Okay. If if one franchise could do it, it would be Resident Evil. Maybe yeah. just Silent Hill if they did that. Resident I'm ready for a new Resident Evil game because the last yeah season, yeah the last yeah, season, I didn't play it, but watching yes. you guys stream it was, was. Did you not? Did you not like eight, um, Bojo? She liked it. She watched me play it twice. I think. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you did. Big, big lady. Yeah, I love that yeah. one. The last oh, you did season. like that one. Oh, 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 okay. I thought you said the last. Um, speaking of big lady, real quick side note: if you're watching the show Wednesday, the principal does she or does she not? Do yes, I was thinking that the entire right? time. I was like, <laughs> if they made a live action in Resident Evil and it had big lady, she would be casted asap. She is, she's the she's the actress that played uh, from Game of Thrones, the, the lady. Oh, okay, okay. But yeah, um, but yeah, yeah well, I, uh, and if that Wonder Star Wars. History. If that Star Wars game with Cal comes out, Ooh. Jedi oh, Survivor. Oh man, Jedi that's next Survivor. year too. Yeah, that is next it. year. Yeah. Um, there's there's a lot. I could even see if Suicide Squad kill the Justice mm-hmm. League. I I wouldn't be surprised if that was up there. There's gonna be some heavy hitters. It's gonna be hard. It's it's. Year. I'm not gonna have enough time to play all these games next year, man. Or probably I'm money. Not have enough money. Yeah. yeah. I'm still playing 2020 games. Yeah, I, my backlog is fucked. Yeah, right. it's, it's it's pretty deep, man. Um, but I think it'll be. I think House Diablo Flipper Four. Two. Uh, House Flipper Two. Yeah. There's a sequel. No, there's also two Lord of the Rings games that are supposed to be coming. Wait, out. wait, I could cry. wait, Flipper. House Where Flipper, did the... yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh my that god. Thing? Is the original I was one on Game Pass? I don't yeah. remember Bojo was playing the shit out of that game. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, That's I haven't stayed thing. up late to play a video game in a very long time, and I stayed up till like three or four o'clock in the morning <laughs> playing that game multiple nights. House so Flipper, I, though, I really? Um, <laughs> yes. Two other games: Forspoken and Dead Space Remake. Ah, uh, um, Forspoken looks oh, good. Oh yeah. yeah I, I was watching a couple people play the demo last night. It does look good. Why well, feel like people are like kind of trashing that game? It's not even out yet. People were just saying it just doesn't look good. It it's just it. Like people are just kind of trashing it right now, and I'm not understanding why. I I, I don't get it. 
but that, that, I think it looks amazing. I think Forspoken is definitely going to be up there for game of the year. I don't want to have to be the. Hmm? I'll be playing it. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. Also, the one that um, there was a preview for it. It was like. It was the one where the people were like gliding on umbrellas. It was a survival game that's coming out. Gliding um, on umbrellas. Victoria, Victorian era, like. 19 not victorian maybe like 1950s esque oh, like yeah, it, yeah, it looked yeah. steampunky almost there were portals i don't remember the name of it uh yeah i know what you're talking about i don't know that uh, one had a dude like in a blue suit with the top hat there's portals. yes it almost um, gave off like valheim the trees walked yeah <laughs> i feel like you're describing harry potter or something <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not this. Uh... I'm trying to. I, I don't even know what that would be. Like, what is that? Uh, I, I I gotta I gotta try to find it now. I'm gonna search umbrella video game. 2023. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I, I have no idea. I don't know what that would okay, be. Okay, so uh, the Destiny 2 Lightfall, the trailer for that that gameplay looked dope. Like all the laser. Vibe. I keep wanting to get back into Destiny, man, but it is just so hard to oh, just. Oh yeah, Andrew Zelda in the Cyberpunk 2077. Yes, that's gonna be cool. See Andrew Zelda in, in a video game, that's gonna be cool. I'll watch him in anything, dude. He's fucking awesome. Yeah, I I, I freaking love that guy. Love that dude. I just I don't know how how are you gonna because usually for the game awards they usually pick top five games that'll go in in like the nomination pool. How are you going to only pick five for next year? I just, I don't know how that's going to work. It's, it's, it's just way too many games. Uh, this is just games that we know about. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. It's a uh, Nightingale. Nightingale, yes. That's the one. <laughs> Nightingale. <coughs> yeah. yeah. It looked really good. Okay, that sounds interesting. It like an MMO survival. survival. I remember people were saying it's a uh, New World 2.0. Oh shit! Horizon has DLC coming out next year. Yeah, yeah, they do. Oh yeah, I forgot they showed that at the Game Awards yesterday too. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm taking off when Diablo Four comes out. Yeah, okay. me too. Yeah, <laughs> I'm definitely taking also, off for that. Um, I, I actually felt pretty optimistic about that Dune MMO. Yeah, I might, I might check that out. I think it's. Uh... Netflix looks solid, solid, and um, Dune, the world itself, like that whole. I still haven't finished the movie. Can we all agree oh. that the game with, I think, the Chuck Norris was in it, Michael Rooker. Oh, uh, yes. A bunch of other fucking actors are in it. That game's going to be hot garbage. Uh, yeah, it, it, it looks like oh. it looks like the Expendables a video game. <laughs> the whole budget was spent on those actors. That game is going to be trash. Oh, yeah. I have no faith at all for that game. No hope. Yeah, I was like, what is this supposed to be? Like, it's it was just kind of confused. I forgot the name of it. It was me too. Outlaw something. It looked like a wannabe Grand Theft Auto. Possibly. Is it by, is it by uh, Rocksteady? I I don't know. I, I doubt Rocksteady made some crap like that. It just it look it does look like garbage. <laughs> I, I doubt they would want to get involved it's in it. Crime boss. Crime oh, I, just, boss. I just scrolled past that. Like even the that name just like that, that doesn't Mel, sound. Or not Mel Gibson. Uh, what's his name? So oh, Danny. Stallone show on uh fucking Prime Toledo King or whatever the fuck it is. Yeah. Nah, I just. It, nah. It's gonna be in that same world. This game looks really weird. The one that you were talking about, Bojo. I, I'm not sure yeah, what to make of it. it. Does it's like what? What is it? Like I don't. I don't understand what what's happening. It looks interesting. The the crime boss one or the nightingale one? The uh, nightingale one. Like we're, we're oh. watching the trailer right now, and it looks survival MMO. Trolls and whatever that was. Yeah, it looks very interesting. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, like I said, next year is a lot of games coming out, so I'm gonna have to work a lot of overtime and uh, <laughs> yeah, cancel a couple Start of family events. Account. Yeah. Yeah. Quit my job, leave my family. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> no big deal. No big deal. No big deal. So, um, but yeah, other than that, make a new family, <laughs> make a new family, make a gaming family, Just get a new one. <laughs> Hopefully they're not listening right to the podcast. Oh, I, I, 
I, I feel special, man. I really do. Thank you. Uh, I can't, I can't, I can't cook though. I, I can't cook, just so you know. So you can order out. It's fine. Yeah. Just get you some Grubhub. <laughs> um other than that um that's going to conclude today's show i uh, appreciate you guys coming in stopping in to talk about some games and um yeah hopefully we have some time for, for for games next year so hopefully we can have you guys back again soon um bojo or um adams or juan do you guys have anything you want to promote or leave it to people before we get out of here today yes voice for tots charity street yeah. there you go there you go December seventeenth, we're all gonna Next be week. there. You should be too. Yes, yes, we will. Do it yes, for we will. the kiddos. <coughs> yeah. Do it for the kiddos. It's our annual deal. We'll have, oh, go ahead, bro. Third year in a row. This it's crazy um, that we've been able to do this. We've raised over fifteen hundred dollars now for yeah. Toys for Tots. This is our third year, and I hope we blow our goal out of the water like we Can have previously. In your chat, KJ. Uh yeah sure go for it I think you should be good to post that up in there there you go yeah, yeah so I'm very excited to do it again anybody who's watching live uh definitely click the link in chat you guys can um donate now you guys can donate when we um on, on the 17th uh, I'll be streaming on my channel you guys can check out um Mojo and Adams as well on their channels um and yeah support the cause yeah, man this year is gonna be a little bit different we'll all be streaming together. Yeah, it's all day. The more the merrier. Yep. For sure. For sure. All right, chat. Um, thank you for checking us out. Hit the like button, subscribe. If you're on the audio version of this podcast right now, leave a comment and leave a review for the podcast. It helps us out. And we will catch you guys later. Thank you for hanging out tonight.